Enjoy Yangling Lager. Step 1. Make sure your cups are clean. Always swirl, not shake. And now we wait. Fresh fountain water. Swirl till you twirl. One cool beer coming right up. Halfway through, start pouring directly. When there are only a few sips left, swirl. As always, this creates a lot of foam. You said yangling light, right? There's an old sailor's tale that if you one of these lands uh, cap up, a good bit of drink, but if it lands face down, no such luck. Hey, what do you know? Here you go, Duke. Now when, when bottles are shaped like this, it's very important to aim not directly at the center, but a little bit off, so it's still hitting the bottom of the cup. Here you go, Duke. It's been a pleasure drinking with you. Yangling is an American company. It was actually the first American beer produced here. It's the longest lasting, at least. We don't have records of the first American beers. Um, but I think, you know, let's... And what I'm saying is, America is a free country. <laughs> Young Light is a very dark beer. Very dark beer, especially, well, I have a different cup, but um, I guess when in, I mean, often this effect, it's about the prismatic effect of light going through glass, it's curved glass at this angle, and it's a little darker. Oh yeah, the laws of physics. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That. Yeah, I, I understand. I'm a physics major myself. We are both 21 years old. It's a new kind of industry. Uh, I think beer in general is a new industry. Um, I mean, it was only since I mean, prohibition really brought the brought beer to the front lines of American culture. Am I right? I... Yep. It was. There was nothing as good as going back home and knocking out a cold one. Knocking it out. Slam. A good toast is in order. 
to mistresses and wives, may they never meet. The per, um, American police forces are the finest in the United States. Ever since the birth of America, the world did not exist before the birth of America. 1776. That was the first recorded history. There was some history before then, but that is the only known record. We only have confirmed records of history beyond that point because of the Library of Congress. One very interesting aspect of the young beer is it causes uncontrollable belching and burping. Now, Duke and Doug does not support the use of belching or burping. Unless it is to say you're drinking youngling lager. Like, mm. This is beer? It's beer. Okay. It's beer, alright. Hey Doug, is the water on? Um... <laughs> it's very important to keep clean mugs. It's not a game. Don't play games with your body. Don't play games with your beer. Um, so I'll pour us the beer. Ooh.
Yeah, and this one's mine. So, Yingling Black and Tan. Yingling Black and Tan is food of the gods. I'm happy to be back at work with you, man. Yeah, I don't know what happened last night. We just... It's like a little hiatus. Yeah, like, I don't remember anything. No, honestly, I don't like it. Oak Barrel. I'm feeling more of like a... Like a smaller tree kind of barrel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in you a way, that? like... I'm thinking it, it's lined by oak, <laughs> as opposed to the entire barrel made the, of oak. What's the alcohol content on this? Um, it's 12 fluid ounces. Okay, 12 fluid ounces, that's the standard. So, I, I think I smell a bit of coffee in here, fresh from Ethiopia. Did you know that they had the first coffee bean? I feel like there's caffeine in it, but like, not... You don't taste it? I mean, I kind of do. That's weird. Yeah. So in the process, you first get a full bag of sugar, like, yay big. Is that what they do for beer barrel? Do they put that, like, right in the beer barrel? Yeah, they put it into this giant container made of stainless steel, and they boil it. That interesting. That's interesting. And then they put a little bit of um, the marijuana plant to add flavor. Like, just a little bit, it won't get you high. But... Hemp? Is that what the hemp plant is? Mm -hmm. I've, heard of, I've heard of that. Um, uh, that's hops. Hops! You got the H right. And the P! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, Duke. Uh... It happens. We gotta clean up this place, man. We do. Like, for previous episodes, we've had a pretty clean workspace, but I mean, we really... You know, this is my fault, too. I cannot blame you for this. Um, you know, speaking of beer, I think a lot of beer goes well with food. Um, not so much games, but food. That That is completely true. Beer pairing is an art form. In fact, yesterday, I went with my friends to Akron City Civic Hospital to get okay. some great food and some great American beer. That sounds like a sounds like a pretty good day. Yeah, it was in the hospital. It was on the second floor, and it had a lot of great food. Their eggplant soup is to die for. The food was fantastic. The beer was fantastic. The ambiance was also fantastic. The service was fantastic. Hmm.